Welcome to Local Loves Nanaimo's third recipe in our holiday treat series. We've got the most delicious chocolate peppermint cake with Swiss buttercream meringue frosting. A perfect decadent dessert if you're looking for either something for Christmas dinner or something special to wow guests at a holiday party. First, you want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Then spray two 9 by 4 inch cake pans with non-stick cooking spray. Line each of those cake pans with parchment paper and then spray your parchment. We've got a neat trick to make round parchment paper. First fold into a square, then fold into a triangle. From there, keep folding until you reach about this size. Then line up the tip of the parchment with the middle of the pan and cut close to the outer edge of the circle. When you unfold it, it will be round and fit perfectly into your pan. Voila! In a medium bowl, whisk three quarters of a cup of cocoa powder with three quarters of a cup of hot water until smooth. Then add three quarters of a cup of sour cream and let the mixture cool. In a different bowl, sift together three cups of cake flour, not self-raising, with one teaspoon of baking soda and a half a teaspoon of salt. It's snowing! In the bowl of an electric mixer fitted with the paddle attachment, beat one and a half cups unsalted butter, room temperature, with two and a quarter cups of sugar on medium speed until light and fluffy. It will be three to four minutes. Add four eggs one at a time, beating to combine after each addition. Ba -doo, ba -doo, ba -doo. Scrape down the sides of bowl as needed. Scrape that bowl. Beat in one tablespoon of vanilla extract and peppermint extract. Mmm, pepperminty. With the mixer on low speed, add flour mixture in two parts, alternating with the cocoa mixture and beginning and ending with the flour. Beat until combined. And don't forget to scrape down those sides. For all you chocolates out there, grab a spoon and just hunker down right now. For this recipe, we decided to bake four layers in two pans along with six cupcakes. Look how gorgeous. Mm. Don't forget to use cupcake liners. Maybe don't add as much batter as we did. We had a bit of an eruption. Because we're only making six cupcakes, to prevent them from burning, fill the empty cups about a third of the way full with water. Bake cake rounds for roughly 45 minutes or until toothpick inserted in the center comes out of the cake clean. Bake the cupcakes for 14 minutes or until the toothpick comes out clean. Before you get started on the icing, smash up your candy canes for the top and middle of the cake layers. Separate all your egg whites first. After separating the egg whites, in the heat proof bowl of an electric mixer set over a saucepan of simmering water, combine egg whites and sugar. Cook whisking constantly until sugar has dissolved and the mixture is warm to the touch, about 160 degrees. Attach bowl to the mixer fitted with the whisk attachment. Beat the egg white mixture on high speed until it holds stiff but not dry peaks. Continue beating until the mixture is fluffy and cooled, about 15 minutes. Switch to the paddle attachment. With the mixer on medium low speed, add the butter several tablespoons at a time, beating well after each addition. Stir with a rubber spatula until frosting is nice and smooth. Spread the buttercream around the perimeter and between the layers of the cake, and then sprinkle the peppermint candy cane on the buttercream between the layers and on top. Thanks for 
tuning in. We hope you enjoyed this recipe. From, From us at Local Loves and Imo, we, we wish you a holly jolly Christmas. Christmas. That's my butt. Then line the tip. Line up the tip. <laughs> Add four eggs, one at a time, beating to combine after each. <laughs> okay. Add four eggs, one at a time, beating to com. Okay. Nope. Yum. I'm so hungry. <laughs> and folks, there's no wrong way to separate those egg whites. So whether you use the back and forth motion or you use your hands. <laughs> Hamburger. <laughs> oh my god, I can see tons of butter in this. <laughs> I'm rolling, you're not supposed to say that. Don't get it close, Where I love it. it. Where is it? It's not. Beautiful yet. That's right, that's why we hide we should... the blushes after. If you had fun watching this video, tune in tomorrow when we release our sassy version or version sass, sass, sass. or sass master. <laughs>